1993 NBA MVP. Little fat guy, he can't play. And 11-time NBA All-Star Charles Barkley was absolutely ferocious on the court. But Chuck's main focus throughout the years has remained the same. His love for his family. Ever since he was a little boy, Charles was taken great care of, growing up in tiny Leeds, Alabama, in a household without a father. They didn't have a lot, but his mother and grandmother always made sure they had food on the table. And they provided for Charles and his two younger brothers. So Barkley's goal was always to give back, and his number one priority in life, even in his high school years already, was his family. This is the family of Charles Barkley, and this is Basketball Dive. Let's start with Charles Barkley's father. Why wasn't he around? Born in September 1942 in a family of Alabama farmers, Frank Barkley was a hardworking kid. His parents, Charles' grandparents, dropped out of school, his grandfather Simon after the 7th grade, and his grandmother Ruby after the 8th grade. They stuck to farming, and Frank Barkley was taught the value of hard work very early. But despite being a great helper on the farm, Charles' father didn't have any special interests. He was not a scholar, and he didn't like studying much. He was known to be a regular person, described as a very simple guy. He just wanted to get out of school and get on with his life. Frank was not very vocal, mostly keeping to himself, he was not social, he loved being alone by all accounts. When Charles Barkley was born in February of 1963 as the first African American to be delivered at Leeds Segregated Hospital, Frank Barkley had a tough time, with his thoughts mostly, but also with his wife, Charles' mother. It was a time of civil unrest and the Birmingham area in particular was a tough place to be at the time. Frank Barkley would have physical incidents with Charles' mother, Charcy, and he would ultimately leave the family within a year in the spring of 1964. He moved to Southern California and later met the love of his life who they had four children with. Charcy would later recall, quote, Frank was young and untrained, not for skilled work, not for marriage, and he simply couldn't cope with the responsibilities of fatherhood, end quote. When Charles Barkley was nine, Frank called and offered to meet him for the first time. He visited the family in Leeds, and Charles' mother even allowed Charles to fly to Los Angeles to meet with his father again. But Charles returned home to Alabama, not amused. He didn't like being around his father, and it made him even angrier at him. Charles could never forgive him or understand the reason why Frank would leave them behind in the first place. Charles' dad would try to explain his reasoning in multiple letters and voice messages, but Charles was just not having it. He hated his father and called him scum. Nevertheless, when Chuck got to the NBA, he would offer a ticket to his father when his team was in LA. They would meet occasionally in the locker room and would eventually reconcile to become cool with each other. Before Frank Barkley passed away in 2021, over Christmas, Charles was able to finally forgive him and let go of the bitterness of the past. Charles' mother never did that though, she still didn't like Frank at all. Charcy would sum it up like, quote, Frank Barkley was one of the few mistakes I have ever made in my life. The only good thing that came out of that was Charles, end quote. So who was she, Charles Barkley's mother, Charcy, you ask? Well, she was a strong woman, a true mother to her children, she had the right upbringing. Charcy's mother, Charles' grandmother, Johnny May England, truly paved the way for her. Johnny May was just 15 years old when she gave birth to Charcy in 1942, and she worked at a local meatpacking house called Lumberjacks for decades. Then she ran a beauty salon behind her house for a couple more decades, and later transitioned into nursing. Charcy's mother was a strict disciplinarian too, quote, she could whoop harder than any man could ever whoop. Charcy once remembered that in an interview. You can imagine it all helped Charles' mother become an independent and charming woman. She was also quite popular in high school and was even crowned homecoming queen on multiple occasions. At six feet tall, she was a beautiful, tall woman who stood out with her presence and classmates thought she looked like a movie star. Charcy was open-minded, always ready to voice her opinion, which is what Charles definitely inherited from her. 
Charles' mother was also athletic, as you might suspect from that height. She played softball, and I'm hearing that she was somewhat slow in the outfield, but when she took that bat, her home runs were truly legendary. After Charcy divorced Charles' father, she married another man named Clee Glenn, and they had two sons together, Daryl in 1966 and John in 1970. Charles Barkley was actually like a father to his younger brothers, helping his mom and granny around the house and caring for Daryl and John as their father, Charles' stepfather Clee Glenn, unfortunately died in a car accident when Charles was just nine years old. Their mother was working multiple jobs to try and stay afloat as the family was always lacking money and living off of government support that they could get. Charcy was employed by the high school cafeteria, but also worked as a housekeeper, cleaning houses in the town's higher class neighborhoods. When Chuck made the league and could afford a relocation for his mother, she refused to move from her beloved area and even continued cleaning houses. Fun fact, Charcy Glenn would become good friends with Shaquille O'Neal's mother, Lucille, and they would often call each other and have long conversations. Sadly, Charcy's health worsened and she passed away from kidney failure in 2015 in the comfort of her own home in Leeds, Alabama. Moving on to Charles Barkley's wife, Maureen Blumhart. Being one of the five children born into a middle-class family in 1964, Maureen had a good character, and she made Charles a better person within the first few months of them dating. Chuck's former coach, Billy Cunningham, acknowledged that when Maureen appeared in Barkley's life, he became way more mature compared to a green rookie he was just a few years ago. One of the things that changed Charles was Maureen, Cunningham said. Just being in her presence, you could tell she was the one who got him pointed in the direction of being the man he wanted to be. Maureen was working as a legal aide and a part-time model when they first met with Charles in Philadelphia back in 1987. The encounter was accidental as they bumped into each other at a Friday's restaurant, and Charles liked this blonde beauty from their first sight. He got her number and started calling her. The couple dated for 10 months and thought about marriage right away. Maureen got pregnant and they tied the knot in 1989 just before their daughter Christiana was born. Charles and Maureen are now happily married for over 30 years and they seem to get along fantastically well. Charles joked in an interview once that he's gone a lot and that helps. But the main reason as for their healthy relationship, Chuck mentions that Maureen accepts his flaws and never judges him. Maureen is now a lifetime honorary member of the Fresh Start Women's Foundation, which is a nonprofit that provides women a means to turn their lives around and influences them to undertake roles for positive changes. Finally, meet Charles Barkley's beloved daughter, Christiana. Christiana Barkley was born in New York City in 1989, three months into Charles and Maureen's marriage. Her parents were truly happy to have her, and she made them grow as people a lot. Christiana later proceeded to attend Villanova and Columbia University and graduated in 2017 with a master's degree in journalism. She worked as a senior account manager for the Koppelman Group. Everything sounds great about Ms. Barkley, right? If it wasn't for her dad, who has always been an odd guy, Sir Charles has recently admitted that he named Christiana after a mall in Delaware. Quote, there's a Christiana Mall in Delaware that I always used to go by. That's how she got her name, Christiana, said Barkley. You named your daughter after a mall? Responded podcast host Ernie Johnson. Barkley said, I just like the mall. You're a mess, man, Johnson joked, end quote. Christiana is now happily married to Ilya Hoffman, a software developer and a marketing company founder. And guess what? They recently had a child a boy named Henry, who entitles Sir Charles to a brand new nickname, Grandpa Chuck. How much happier can a man get? Think it doesn't always get happier than this? Well, watch the story of Shaq's enormous family and find out how happy the big Aristotle is. Oh, you have watched that? Well, there's plenty more to see. Check out the one up there that's picked out just for you.